Hello and welcome to the Futures Lab. So this week we're working on our pacifist ending. Now in the original Undertale game, a lot of what is said during a pacifist ending will happen outside of the battle. And we of course don't have a game outside of our battle. So I'm going to be adding a little bit extra to the ending to make it feel satisfying for the player. And you can pick and choose which bits of this you want to keep for yourself and which bits you would want to change in your game. So without any further ado, let's get to the code. Now, first of all, in your enemy sprite, look around until you find Define Mercy Spare. Now, look for where we've got Broadcast Pacifist ending. This broadcast doesn't do anything yet. We just put it here so we knew what we wanted to put in here later. So we can take this broadcast and throw it out. Let's create a my block and we'll call this Ending Pacifist. That way, if you want to have multiple endings in your game, you can always say the ending and then the type of ending it is. Maybe it's the secret ending or the genocide ending. Press OK and then drag ending pacifist into this gap. Now, remember, we have a variable called friendship and you gain friendship by doing the correct choices in the act submenu. So for me, because I've got 50 here, that means I need 51 friendship or higher. And then when I select spare, it will work and I will get the pacifist ending. Okay, let's drag this define ending pacifist off somewhere where we've got some space underneath it. Now let's start off by changing the mode into pacifist ending. Then let's send out a broadcast and I'm actually going to reuse the game over broadcast. Now we're going to need to do some work before it works exactly the way that we want it to, but this is a good start. Now to start off with, I'm just going to add in a little bit of dialogue with our enemy speech bubble. So this is the dialogue that I've put in. You can choose something similar or different for your game. Now we should make a cheat code so we can test out our pacifist ending without having to play it all the way through fairly. Let's do something nice and simple. We'll go to events, get out when the C button pressed. And we need to set our friendship variable up high enough to get our pacifist ending, which for me should be 51. Okay, now let's give that a test. All right, so we start the game and if you have music, it's going to fade in. Now, if we select spare normally, we'll get this refusal. But if we start the game again, and then this time we press C, to make sure that our friendship goes up to 51 and then select spare, we should get something like this. Okay, so we definitely need to make some changes to our game over code. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to rename this broadcast and there's no easy way to do this without going through and changing all of our code. So if you want to leave this broadcast as just game over, that's fine. Otherwise, click here, and then click on new message. And this new broadcast that I want to make, I'm going to call ending, then I'm going to put a slash game over. Because this broadcast is going to be the same broadcast that happens when we reach one of our endings, or if we die to a game over. Press OK. So now that we're using this new broadcast, we need to go to our heart sprite and look around for our death and invulnerability code then zoom in and look for broadcast game over and change that to ending game over. Okay, that looks good. Now let's go through our sprites one by one and check on their when I receive game over code. First up is the enemy sprite. So look around until you find when I receive game over. First thing we want to do is change this broadcast from game over to ending slash game over. Now you'll notice that this code hides the enemy and we actually don't want the enemy to hide if we've achieved the pacifist ending. So let's wrap these three lines of code in an if statement. Go to control, get out an if then, put it right here. Now in this if, we could check the mode to see if it's game over. If the mode is game over, then we can hide the enemy. But if the mode is something else, like the pacifist ending, then we won't hide the enemy. However, the way that we've coded our heart and all of the exploding shards means there's this pause before the mode gets set to game over. So that will create some timing issues. But we can fix this instead of checking the mode, let's just check the soul. Now our soul variable will actually change to 
dead once the heart has died. So all we need to do is put in a if soul equals dead, hide the enemy. Otherwise, leave it unhidden because the enemy is going to want to do some talking. Let's continue in order, shall we? Go to the box and look around for when I receive game over. This code is actually fine. This line here, wait until mode equals game over, means that it won't run any of this code when we're trying to do our pacifist ending. Let's move on to the next sprite, the heart. Now the heart doesn't have a when I receive game over, so we'll just need to make one. Let's go to events, get out when I receive ending slash game over. And we just need an if mode equals pacifist ending hide. Now let's go to the attack sprite. Now look around for when I receive game over. We need to change the game over to ending slash game over. But aside from that, that's the same. We want all the attacks to disappear if we make it to the pacifist ending. Next onto the health bar. Once you find when I receive game over, let's just change that to ending slash game over. And again, that's fine as is. Let's go to the menu. Let's change when I receive game over to ending slash game over. Let's go to the sub menu and let's look around and we shouldn't have a when I receive game over so we can leave that the same. The same goes for the damage sprite. The yellow bullet has a when I receive game over, just change that here. Okay, let's do the text sprite when I receive game over. Now, this one's interesting. We've got this wait for five seconds, and then we've got this text that comes up that we want to have happen during game over, but not during our pacifist ending. So let's put a if then around all of this text. Let's make sure we only do this if the soul is equal to dead. Once you've got this if soul equals dead in, make sure that you change the when I receive. Then let's check on the Gaster Blaster. Here it is. Let's change that over. Same for the Gaster Beam. Yep, the same thing. Let's change that when I receive. Now, your fight sprite shouldn't have a when I receive game over, but your warning sprite should have one. Yep, there it is. Let's change that one here. Your green shield shouldn't have a when I receive game over. And finally, let's check the stage. Now, this does have a when I receive game over, and it also starts some sad music. Now, you've got a few options here. If this sad music that plays when you've lost the game is still good for your pacifist ending, then just leave the code as it is. That way this music will play whether you've got game over or the pacifist ending. However, if you don't want this music to play during your pacifist ending, we just need to put an if around this forever. And we are going to check to see the soul equals dead. Now, if you want different music to play during the pacifist ending, it's nice and simple. All we need to do is copy this if, take out this soul variable, because we're going to see if the mode equals pacifist ending. As always, make sure you spell this correctly, and you can select what song you want to play during your pacifist ending. I personally am going to have silence during my pacifist ending. I quite like that idea. So I'm not going to have this. I'm going to throw that out. Well, renaming that broadcast was a complete pain, but I think it's worth it because it's important that we know what our broadcast does and knowing that this broadcast does both endings and when we lose due to a game over, I think is important. So let's give it a test and see what it looks like now. Okay, let's go to Mercy. Remember to press C first and then select Spare. And the music stops, that's perfect. Um, but this variable is still here and this box is still here. All right, let's fix that. Okay, let's go to the box sprite and see what we missed. Uh-oh, do you see what I see? I forgot to change this when I receive game over into an ending slash game over. Ugh. If anything is in your code isn't working right, make sure that you've checked all of your when I receive game overs because it's an easy mistake to make. 
Let's hide that variable as well, shall we? Go to your enemy sprite and look around for ending pacifist. Then right under here, let's hide variable display player HP. Okay, let's give that a test and see if it works a bit better. Alrighty. Excellent, march cleaner. The box is gone and the variable is gone. However, if you follow through the dialogue that you've written so far, you'll notice that it goes into a bunch of your intro dialogue afterwards. Oh no, we need to fix that. And to figure out the reason why that's happening, we need to look around for when I receive end player's turn. Okay, so that's this bit of code here. Now, remember what this does. This is the enemy's responses to the different choices that the player makes. So we've got here the response to when the player chooses spare and flee and argue. And underneath all these choices, we've also got this generic dialogue. So if the enemy doesn't have anything specific to say in response to what the player is doing, it will select one of these dialogues and say that instead. Then after that, it sets the mode back to evade so that the next round can begin. Now all the code that we're doing is technically happening right here in Mercy Spare because that's the choice that we've made. Now we need to make sure that none of this code here happens once we have gotten the pacifist ending. So this is nice and simple. Let's just copy this if here, but get rid of all of the code that's inside the copy. We want to check if not mode equals pacifist ending. So now anything in here is not going to happen if we've set the mode to pacifist ending. Let's take this if and put it right here. Make sure it gets all of this generic dialogue and our set mode back to evade. Okay, I think it's time to give that a test. Okay, that's looking good. And then, perfect. We don't end up with any extra dialogue. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a bunch of extra dialogue so that Scratch has got a bit more to say once we get to our pacifist ending. I'm also going to change the costume of my enemy to give them a bit more emotion. Now take your time with this and write out dialogue that makes sense for your character, your enemy. And then once you're done with all of your dialogue and you're happy with it, then at the end, we're going to put a broadcast fade out. Now this fade out broadcast is going to fade out your music. And this next bit is optional, but I'm also going to make it so that the backdrop also fades to white. Let's go to the stage and look for when I receive fade out. Now we already experimented with changing ghost by one here and it made this cool fade to white effect, but I only want that to happen once we've achieved the pacifist ending. So all we need is a if mode equals pacifist ending and then put this right underneath change volume. And inside here, we need a change ghost effect by one. Okay, let's see what that looks like, shall we? Okay, we've got the dialogue. We've got some different costumes. Ah, there we go. Now I'm going to make my enemy fade out as well. And I also have decided I'm going to make my enemy glide slightly towards the middle of the screen. So let's go to the enemy sprite. And at the bottom of our ending pacifist, we just need to put in some fading out code. Let's make sure I've got enough space. I've used this particular trick to fade things out so many times. Let's make it a nice slow fade out and we will change ghost by one. Okay, so once we've got this code that's gonna fade out our enemy, have a look around for when I receive ending slash game over. So we've got this if soul equals dead, then hide. Let's take this if and turn it into an if then else. Drag this over under the if, drag this onto the top. 
And if the sword is not dead, I'm going to make Scratch glide slowly into the middle. So go to motion and get out glide one second. And I'm going to make this X zero Y zero. And because I want it to be nice and slow, I'm gonna make it glide 10 seconds. Okay, should we give that a test? Oh, that's a cool gliding effect. I like how the text box sort of follows Scratch as well. Ah, oh, lovely. And Scratch is fading out as well. Now at this point, I think it would be really nice for a nice ending screen just to fade in. Now you could get something like this if you're a better artist than me, or you can get something like this off of the internet and just use that in your game. I'm gonna make just a simple pacifist ending text and I'm gonna make that fade in, but you feel free to go wild. Make a nice bit of artwork to fade in to really give the player something satisfying as a reward. So I'm gonna put this ending screen into the box sprite. There's probably a few other places we could put it, but we already have our game over appear there. So I'm just gonna have something nice and simple come up here, just pacifist ending in nice friendly green letters. Now once you've got your costume in and you've called it pacifist ending, make sure you spell that correctly. Let's go to the code and make sure that this fades in after we've already faded the screen to white. So I'm going to copy this code across and I'm gonna make a new when I receive broadcast. So we're going to make this when I receive new message and we'll call this ending screen. Now this code will do a nice fade in for us. So all we need to do is make sure that we switch the costume to whatever the current mode is. So if the mode is set to pacifist ending, then we'll switch to the pacifist ending costume. This wait one second probably isn't super necessary. So I'm going to get rid of that. But aside from this, we just now need to go to our enemy sprite look back for our define ending pacifist. And when we find that on the very, very end, we just need to put in a broadcast ending screen. And that should be the last thing. Let's give it one final test. There we go. We've got our nice gliding. We've got Scratch's dialogue and all the costume changes. There we go. Now we should fade to white. Scratch should also fade to ghost. And in comes our pacifist ending. And there we have it all done. Our first ending is completed. Don't forget to get rid of your when C pressed cheat code. Subscribe and ring the bell to see when the next episode is ready for you. Let me know in the comments what you would like me to do next. How many endings are you planning to add to your game? Let me know if you need any help. And aside from that, stay awesome, be cool to each other, and take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time, ninjas. Oh,